Hello, good morning everyone and welcome again to Mr. Ong Math Lesson and Happy New Year to every one of you and today I'm going to teach you the difference between some of the math that's required when you go from intermediate school to a high school in New Zealand. So these are the six common topics that you will learn on the first day of school. So the first one is factors. Once you know the factors, you are going to find what is the highest common factors. Then you need to know what the multiples. Once you know your multiples, you need to know what is the lowest common multiple, also called LCM. And then we need to know what the prime numbers. And last but not least, we are going to find out what are common or prime factors. So we shall start with factors. So the definition for factors is as follows. Factors of an integer, so factors of any number, a whole number, means they are not fraction or decimals that multiply with each other to get the original number. So for example, if the question asks you what are the factors of 12, you need to multiply two integers or two whole numbers so that they will give you a total of 12. So there are three possibilities, 1 times 12, 2 times 6 and 3 times 4. So they are all the possible outcome. So the factors of 12 is just all the numbers. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 12 and you write them in the bracket and that is how you do it for finding the factors of a number. That was straightforward. Now we are going to know what the difference between factors and highest common factors. So if I will ask you what is the highest common factor of two numbers, 15 and 25, the same procedures occur. So what you do, you're going to find the factors of 15, and then you're going to find the factors of 25. So what two, num or two numbers multiply you 15? So 1 times 15, 3 times 5. So the factors of 15 is 1, 3, 5, 15. And the factors of 25 is 1 times 25, 5 times 5. So the factors is 1, 5, and 25. So the idea is the highest common factor, the common num common factor is 1 and 5. So the highest number that's common is 5. So the answer is going to be 5. And that is how you calculate highest common factor. Okay, we shall proceed now. The next topic is called multiples. Most people get confused between factors and multiples. So listen carefully. So multiples of a number is the result of multiplying that number with any whole number. So you normally start with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so forth. So for example, if the question asks you what is the first four multiples of 3, so you multiply 3 by 1 is 3, 3 by 2 by 3 by 2 gives you 6, and so forth. So they want the first four multiples, so you multiply the four times, so the first four multiples of 3 is going to be 3, 6, 9, and 12. That's simple, isn't it? Good. Now we're going to know what is the meaning of lowest common multiple. This is very common in mathematics, also called an LCM. Okay, so if I were to ask you to find an LCM between two numbers, 15 and 25, the first the thing again you need to find the multiple of 15 and the multiple of 25. I've done it. So 15 times 1 is 15, 15 times 2 is 30, and so forth. So the multiple of 15 is 15, 30, 45, 60, and so forth. Multiple of 25, 25 times 1 is 25, 25 times 2 is 50, and so forth. So you look for common multiple. There's no common except the first common multiple is 75. So 75 will be the lowest common multiple of 15 and 25. That's easy, isn't it? Good. So now we are going to do prime numbers. You have learned this in primary school. So prime numbers are any numbers that can be divided by 1 or itself. So you need to note this, all even numbers, 4, 6, 8, 12, are all not prime numbers because they can be divided by itself, it can be divided by 1, and also it can be divided by 2. So if the question asks you for prime numbers, always ignore all the even numbers. So we shall look at the prime numbers from 1 to 20. So the first prime number is 2, 3, 5. All these numbers can only be divided by itself or 1. And the last thing we're going to do today is calculate the prime factors. So prime factors of an integer are prime numbers. So you need to get the prime numbers, not decimal or fraction, that multiply to give the original number. So for example, what are the prime factors of 12? 12 just multiplied by two numbers, 2 and 6. So if 2 is a 
prime numbers leave it there so six can be further broken down into two and three so these are prime numbers so the answer is two times two times three or similarly 12 can be divided into three and four so three is a prime number leave it four divided into two and two so the answer is going to be three times two times two which is similar to this so the answer is going to be two times two times three or sometimes you can write two to the power of two times three so technically, this is a short overview of the first lesson you're going to get in your year 9 class in 2021. Enjoy yourself and have a good break. Cheers.